Good evening, gang. It's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. Let's turn the hat around. There we go. Oh, yeah. So uh, let's talk about charcoal. It's, uh, at the time of this recording, we're really past barbecuing season or grilling season, but that's okay. Um, I am, I don't know why this inspired me today, but it did. Came to mind years ago. I heard the story of how charcoal uh, was made. And um, here's how I heard it. I'll tell you how I heard it first, and then we'll apply this lesson to marketing. But uh, as the story goes, uh, Henry Ford had lots of scrap wood from making his cars, right? His uh, Evidently, his cars were made out of wood. Um, but he had this leftover wood and so uh, and or sawdust, right? And so there was all of this waste, wasted material that... Uh, they turned. They figured out a way to repurpose that material in order to turn it into another business. So that's pretty cool, right? Like here's, uh, you know, Henry Ford is making cars. They have all this leftover sawdust and wood, and they actually take that that leftover stuff that would have just been thrown out, and they repurpose it into something that becomes an entirely separate, profitable uh, product for them. So um, I love that story, right? Because it's. Uh, when I first heard it, I just thought, how much waste is there in a day? Like it, in our efforts, waste in our, our businesses, waste in our time. Like there's so much waste that just happens. What if we could take that and turn it into uh, something profitable? And as I went down the road of business, that story stayed with me. And then I got into marketing. I started a marketing agency. And, and here we are today where I'm sharing with you this story as it relates to marketing. Here's what I realized, realized about marketing. That... Most people are squeezed for time in their marketing. So the first objection you get in marketing from people is I don't have time to market or, or I don't have time to do it consistently. And so one of the things that we're starting to, that we need to solve for is how do we, how do we create effort? How do we do something? How do we make something? Henry Ford made a car, but how do we make something like a video or content, right? Content marketing is really the, the, the place that I'm playing or that I'm speaking to, right? How do we create something like a video, but then repurpose it, get more out of it so that we can create additional profit from the effort. Most people in their marketing, what they do is they, it, it's almost like they treat their marketing like it's disposable, right? Like disposable contact lenses. They're like, I wore it once and I threw it away. You made a, you made a video once, you hoped it produced a result and we throw it away in order to do another one tomorrow. And, and this sort of like disposable um, approach to your effort, your time, your marketing is highly inefficient. But if we could borrow some wisdom from the story of charcoal for a minute and look at you, every time you create content, you have material, just like Henry Ford had mater leftover material, you have material. That is, that is you, reusable from your effort that you could, if you repurposed it, turn it into additional profit. So what does that mean? Like, what does that look like? Like, come on, Chris, let's get specific here. Okay, great. So I, it, let me give you an example. And this is what we teach in, in our six-week program. This is what we do with our agency clients. When you create a 10 to 20-minute video, for example, in the form of a weekly show, okay, in the form of a weekly show, you now have an asset. You, ha you now have spent time and effort to create an asset. And this asset could be repurposed like sawdust would be repurposed to create charcoal. You could go in and start to pull out sound bites from your 10 to 20 minute video. And what could you do with those sound bites? Well, there's a lot of things you could do with those sound bites. You could take a sound bite and you could write a blog post about it. You could take a sound bite and you could run it as a Facebook ad. You could take a soundbite and you could email your database about it. You could take a soundbite and turn it into a quote that you design on a card that you send out as a handwritten note. Look, there are a lot of ways to repurpose content. And I'm, I've just given you a couple examples here. But the whole point is to change the paradigm from I got to show up today and create um, a video and then you don't, you don't see it for the residual value that it has. You have to change the paradigm to see residual value in your efforts and your assets, meaning your content, right? Your videos, 
your blog posts, your podcast. If you're going to spend the time to do it, let's get a multiple return on it. This is what Henry Ford did, where he realized that by creating something, there was there were additional assets in the creation process, and he just for a while hadn't been using those. And when he saw them, he's like, oh my God, now I see that there are additional assets here that I could be using to create additional profit. And he built an entire business around it. Now, I'm not saying you have to build an entire business around um, the repurposing of, but what I am of your content, but what I am saying is that every time you create content, there are additional assets in it if you can look for it, if you can see it. And if you know what to look for, right? And you're good at creating, if what, if you have a good product and you know what to look for, you can take these additional assets and start to reuse them in other places. This is in fact what we teach in our six-week program, right? In our six-week program called the Groundswell Method Intensive, right? You have, in order to get to that place, you have to have a good product because if you have a bad product, you can't repurpose it, right? But if you have a good product, then you can actually repurpose that product for additional value, for residual value, okay? If you'd like to learn more about the six-week program, I recommend you start with our free course. It's called Marketing for the Rest of Us, the course. It's five videos, just over 90 minutes, and you can start that today at groundswellmethod.com. Here's to you, gang. I want you to go out and start to look for in your marketing, what are the additional ways you could repurpose this content, your content, your marketing, to create even more reach, more influence, more impact, more profit, so that's, how, that's where I'm going to leave you. I want you to go look at that. Go figure that out. And if you'd like help uh, dialing in your message to have even more residual value from your content, you can go to groundswellmethod.com. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow.